Families heading home tonight from Bolivar Peninsula may be carrying reminders of their Memorial Day visit on their bathing suits, their flip-flops, and their t-shirts. KFDM's Jennifer Gordy tells us about the seaweed invasion, what people are saying about it, and how they're dealing with it. The long holiday weekend brought many visitors to the Bolivar Peninsula, including an unwanted visitor, sargassum or seaweed. It's blanketing the beaches. In some areas, it's as high as two feet or more. I heard a friend talking about it. I was like, oh, it can't be that bad. But when I came here, it kind of surprised me. It didn't bother some children who were playing in it like it was sand. But fishing was a different story. Your line just gets struck, struck down the beach. It's all mixed up in the seaweed and it just turns horrible. You do it for about 20 minutes and I'm never doing it again, you know. The algae is stinky and it's unsightly and it makes getting down to the beach very difficult. But it's stopping me from going swimming when I start. That's what I really wanted to do, but I can't because, I mean, I'm not going to go through that yucky feeling. And it looks pretty nasty. Oh, uh, man, I'm... I I'm surprised they don't have uh, a city of Galveston ain't out here trying to do something about it, clean it up, you know. Galveston's Convention and Visitors Bureau says the seaweed is a natural phenomenon seen up and down the coast, and it serves a good purpose, preventing erosion and providing a habitat. But for beach visitors this weekend, it was just a nuisance. It feels really weird. It's like soggy and nasty and just wet and sometimes you'll sink in it. A nasty mess for Galveston County officials to deal with once the crowds have gone home. On the Bolivar Peninsula, Jennifer Gordy, KFDN 6 News. On Galveston Island, crews moved the seaweed to allow access to the water, but the brown algae will be left on beaches to naturally decompose.